Public announcement! I'm going to Paris, France, uh, in February 5 to February 15. More details will be at the end of the video. Enjoy the video, and if you're in France, watch till the end so that, you know, maybe we can meet up and train. Yeah. <laughs>Yo, what is up PK fam? And on this week's episode of PK TV, we're gonna be watching some edits that some awesome people made for me. Now, two out of the three people that edited my, these videos that we're about to watch are actual parkour athletes. So those are gonna be today's features or this week's PK TV features. But instead of featuring their skill set and everything at the beginning of the video, what I'm gonna do is watch the edits that they made for me and then I'll show their one of their videos like showing their skill sets and everything. But anyway, let's watch some awesome parkour edits. Haha. <laughs> Going down to the computer camera. Okay, and let's start recording. Oh, here's a little sneak peek. For those of you that don't know, I use uh, OBS to record all of my reaction videos and type things. Isn't that cool? Like, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, okay. Another thing, Netflix. Okay, so the, the the series that I've been obsessed with so for like the past like week cuz I already finished it within a week is you. It's freaking f fracked up. It's like messed up. It's like kind of like a romantic thing, but the guy's really messed up and he's like a stalker and stuff. I If you guys want something to watch on Netflix and you guys are into like suspense type things with a little bit of uh, roman romanticism? Ro 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 romance. What am I saying? You should, you should, Jesus Christ, I'm stuttering so much. Why? Anyway, you gotta watch you on Netflix. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's get to our first person. The first person I will be featuring, well, not featuring, but to edit this video is Colton Clay. Uh, Colton Clay Eilhart? Eilhart? It says it right there. But anyway, let's watch his edit that he made for me. Boom. Okay, so uh, most of these songs are probably going to be copyrighted, so I'm going to just talk as much as I can. Uh, the edits he make are very, like, they're, they're deep. Like, it's not just like, go hard! Like, it's kind of mystical. Like, I don't know, I just, I like his editing style. Uh, I don't know. I don't, let's just watch. Um, all of these clips are from my, uh, oh, they're from my Best of 2018 video. So I asked him to make an edit to promote my Best of 2018 video. Um, if you watch my best of 2018, you'll recognize a lot of these clips, but the editing just makes it so much better. Like, the colors, I didn't do any color correction for my best of 2018 because I was too lazy. Um, I don't know. I just love, I love his editing style, which is why I asked him to make an edit for me. Um, he makes all the colors look so nice, and he has, like, little effects that I just never use. Um, and just, like, flashing like that. Like, I just never think of to do that, or I always forget. And that's the first edit. So this is his Instagram. It'll be linked in the description below. Colton Clay, underscore, underscore Colton Clay. And yeah, let's just, yeah, I just pulled up a random one. So like, it's not always about like being, it's not like a hardcore edit. He did, like, he can make a, edits like very deep. Like, and his transitions though, like he does, he has so many, he has such a variety of transitions and I love it. Plus he's a dope athlete, like, I met him in like 2017 when I was at Woodward and he was working on Scoot Dub and back then I wasn't even thinking of doing Scoot Dub, I was like, what? Uh, and that is our first person, our first feature and the person who edited my video. Thank you, Colton. Go follow him. If you go follow him, if you go watch his stuff and you like what you see and you follow him, tell him I sent you. Tell him Nonstop Parkour sent you. Again, his Instagram will be linked in the description below. So, the next person is short.bread.films. Um, I met him through tennis, actually, like years ago. Like, we played each other in tennis. And it was pretty, I don't remember what the score is if, or if he beat me, but I barely remembered him. And then he just hit me up. He was like, yo, can we film and make an edit? Uh, and I was like, sure, heck yeah. Let's watch this. I actually haven't watched the final product. He's shown me a lot of rough drafts, but let's watch this. I like it so far. So this guy isn't a parkour athlete. He just does edits. And as I said, he plays tennis. Um... And he films. So he directed and filmed, as you just saw. Um, um, so he's definitely still finding his style. If you, I really like this snow, um, snow effect. Like, that snow obviously wasn't there, but it looks really nice. I also like how he does, like, those animations. Uh, 
lady. Oh man, we had a really good time filming this, even though we were freaking freezing. Um, yeah, so this video specifically, we filmed specifically, we had a specific film day so that he could um, edit it. I didn't just give him random clips. He really improved. Uh, the edit, like the rough draft was just like it was good, but it was like nothing too special. This one I really like. This final edit, I'm talking too much, but it's whatever. Like he hasn't been doing it for years and years. Like I have, or uh, other people I know. And he's really good. Like his edits are really good so far. Is that it? Oh, okay, yeah. He said he left some black space so that I could type whatever I wanted. But anyway, yeah, that's his edit. It was really good. Um, I'm, I'm impressed considering he hasn't been doing, he hasn't been editing for like years on end. Um, he, since he's not a parkour athlete, he doesn't have like the parkour athlete type editing style. So I really like that. He's really inspired by like music videos. And then lastly, we have Josh Kent. So he, I met him through the Cincinnati Parkour Jam pretty recently. I think it was the 2018, um, Cincinnati Parkour Jam. And he's just an awesome athlete. He's an awesome guy. He lives in Columbus, so he's two hours away, but I visit Columbus like every other week anyway. So we train um, pretty often. He's a cool athlete. Awesome guy. Uh, let's just watch the edit he made for me. Uh, I gave him I gave him clips from my New York uh, trip, like my favorite clips I got from the Brooklyn Zoo, and he made an edit. I like it. Um... He makes colors look nice. He takes the time to uh, color correct things. Um, I like it. Let's just watch. He makes it. He makes a. Yeah, it's just good. He makes the very good use of slow mo. Let's say that slow mo and like slightly zooming in. So this is slightly zoomed in, and then it goes back out. So that's the, some, again something I don't really think of, which I should probably do more. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, good stuff. The song is definitely copyrighted, so I have to keep on talking. <laughs> it's good. I like the edit. Heck yeah. That's his edit, so let's look um, at his skill set from his Instagram. So now we're going to watch one of his videos. Well, that was his video, but, he, but I'm in it. Now he's in it, and it's his video. This is his 2018 highlight video. This is like just hardcore. You see that transition right there was so smooth and nice. Um, and when I'm talking about transitions right now, because we're talking about transitions from one clip to another, not moves. Because we're talking about the video. And he's a great athlete too. He's got double chords, like snazzy. This is definitely one of the more like hardcore, just go hard type videos, but it's showing his skills. This is 2018. Nothing less is expected. Good stuff. Um, got some pretty high fronts. Do it on a concrete, Josh! <laughs> and yeah, that's him. If you're impressed by him, um, you want to see his skills. He posts a lot of parkour. So if you want to watch his parkour and watch the edits he makes, then you should go check him out on Instagram. His, his Instagram will be linked in the description below. I have no idea how long I've been recording for. Anyway, oh well. Hmm, okay, I want to watch another one of his edits because I, I like his editing style. Um, his editing style on his videos are really nice, like the transitions and everything. He didn't use as many transitions as he usually does in my edit, but like I asked him to make it like within like two or three days, so I'm not complaining. Oh, I think this is an edit. This is an edit from the Cincinnati 2018 parkour jam, so. Mm. Like you can't tell, but he did color he did color correct this so that it is like a little bit darker. And like more of like a gloomy feeling, I guess. Not gloomy, but like serious tone. I do like his style. Like, he does a lot. He works on flow a lot. I like it. But, yeah, that is, I think, all that we have for today. So, again, all of their Instagrams will be linked in the description below. And let's go back to the regular camera, shall we? And, yeah, that is it for this video, guys. So, if you guys do edit videos and you, like, you enjoy editing a lot, then feel free to just, like, download some of my YouTube videos from, on, on I don't know, like, online. <laughs> 
feel free to edit them however you like, and then you can send it to me, and if I like really like it, then I'll re and then I'll watch it on the PKTV series. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell button. You should also ring that notification bell button because I'm going to freaking Paris. I'm going to Paris, France to go skiing in, oh, uh, what's it called again? Uh, I'm staying in Les Mineurs, if you know where that is, because I know I have some of the PK fam in France. Um, let me think. I don't know, I'm going to some ski resort that's like 10 minutes away from Les Mineurs, and it's apparently like a beaut- like one of the best ski resorts ever. So, yeah, if you live in France or somewhere in France, uh, Paris, something like that, just uh, hit me up on Instagram and then, I don't know, maybe we can train. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. PK person out. Oh yeah, the reason you should ring the notification bell button, I'm going to Paris and I'm going to be filming there. So, that's why. Just to clarify. See you in the next one, PK person out. <laughs> Woo!